What's going on, everybody? My name is Alex, also known as Formula. Bring you guys episode number 24 of Craft Night featuring my girlfriend Kaylee. We are back today at our base. Before we get into the episode, though, I just want to quickly ask everybody watching if they could just subscribe to the Minecraft channel. I post a survival series on here every other day with my girlfriend and a bunch of other awesome YouTubers. And you know what? If you guys want to help us just a little bit more, drop a like on the video because the more likes we get, the more the series grows, the more it helps me out. Anyways, we are here at our base, and um, apparently Kaz has a surprise for us today. We got to go to the nether to travel all the way back to spawn we kind of made kaz wait for like 30 minutes my man only got on just to show us the surprise i feel kind of bad it's better be a good surprise all right wait which way is to spawn this way all right come here still have not finished this tunnel yet this is just going to be a grind that i just been procrastinating over and over again well <gasps> what the what, what? Uh, did you see what happened to me or no no what happened to you oh sorry Ow. sorry sorry okay so my body just glitched through the floor and into oh whatever goodness. was below me you're lucky it wasn't lava yeah thank goodness it wasn't lava bro some of these glitches on minecraft guys are absolutely terrifying man you didn't finish filling this in no i have to replace oh. all this cobblestone with dark prison so we have to walk the rest of the way yes babe we have to walk the rest of the way wow that is not what i signed up for what do you mean i made this beautiful path Path, so we don't have to go through Kaz's horrible method of going back to spawn. <laughs> Kaz's method of going back to spawn is basically a death run. It really is. What do you think his surprise is for us at spawn? You want to know what I really think it is? I think it's the boxing arena. Ooh, if it's the boxing arena, that's going to be dangerous because uh, I have not warmed up at all for that boxing match. There's just been too many projects to work on, guys. Like, we don't have any time to warm up for boxing matches. <gasps> oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. He can push you up. There's another one in here, babe. Oh, There's babe, another. I'm fighting him. I'm fighting the hoglin. <laughs> Yo, he's kind of adorable. Ah, wait. Oh, 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 careful. Do not let him okay. bling you over the wall. Here, watch out, watch out. I got a diamond sword. No, no, I got it, I got it, I got it. I, All right, I, nice, I, 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 nice. Oh, great. Now it's his brother. Oh, man. Nah, I got him. He's, oh, he's about to kill me. Uh, they drop so much food. 16 food. I wonder if you can make like a hoglin farm. They drop leather nah. and pork chops, which isn't even no, that bad. Well, I thought this guy's gonna attack you because you're not wearing gold. I'm not scared of him. Actually, yes, I am. I am definitely scared oh. of him. Oh, no, the lag on the server. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You just got a double kill. Nice. I kind of regret building our base this far away now because this tunnel is gonna take us forever to finish yo oh, what's up guys what's going on yo wait hold on we're about to be at spawn you Are you guys coming through the nether? we have like a whole tunnel that's connected to tico's i've seen i almost died when i was first coming over here because you guys have like a huge pit at the end of it right <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. dude i was using my elytra flying through tico's tunnel and i flew through the portal and like all i fell all the way down that pit <laughs> and i thought i was gonna die bro oh my gosh yeah if you follow that thing it literally goes straight to our base i just gotta make the the ice blocks and stuff and it's gonna be a full tunnel dude i can't believe i didn't find you guys base like right when you built it because you guys are so close to me oh, oh there no. you guys are what is this all right all right all right don't, what is don't, this don't open. all right we can come up here just don't open any chests yet okay so oh. what do you think this is this better not be the boxing ring that i'm gonna beat you in no 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 no, no. it's not a boxing ring <laughs> okay. i should have you react to that so if i hit you up again that's why but, but you already made the boxing ring no no no. i'm going to next episode maybe we can build it together if you're down i'm down i'm actually down that'd be fun okay okay all right yeah so don't don't open any chests yet. I'm like the Mr. Beast of the server right now. I'm opening a free store. Okay. What? So all of these chests have something. And you guys are the last two people that are going to visit the store. There's four chests. I'm going to let you guys both pick one. And Ooh. pick carefully because some might be a troll, but some might have some good stuff. Okay. <laughs> pick whatever you guys want. You guys get whatever's in the chest. What's the catch? No catch. It's literally a free store. I'm Mr. Beast. Okay. Ladies first. Ducky, I'm not going to lie. I got the best chest already. Ah, uh, wish I There is still that. a pretty good one. <laughs> oh, we got phantoms. Are they going to bother us here oh yeah they are watch out watch out all, all right, right you pick. who wants to go first Haley can go okay i feel like two is just calling my name is that your final choice yes all right open it up we can all open it at the same time Ah! <laughs> oh, my. oh man that was the one troll you could blame ducky for that it actually had good stuff in it and then ducky said you should make one with dirt we made two so now form you got to pick something good here oh no so i have one three and four right you got one three and four. Oh no uh, i'm actually kind of sad i didn't want anybody to get that one but that's how it goes dude i don't know man i don't know i feel like one is just too much of like there a. Were, there were no there were no mind games during the numbers no mind games no mind games all right, hold on. I got to pick wisely here. Be right. careful, babe. Look what happened to me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no. <laughs> you know what? I, I feel like if you put dirt in that one, you probably put something good in this one. So I'm going to go with three. Okay. I'm Open feeling three. Final answer, three. Three, two, right. one. 
Oh, okay. Wow. Let's go. Efficiency four, some good armor. Five diamonds. Go. Yeah. That's a good helmet. Do you see my armor uh -oh. that I'm wearing right now? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, this is the best that I could do right now. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. Now you got a diamond helmet. <laughs> Let's go. This is the best I got. Iron pants and boots. Not even a chest plate, dude. Yeah, you can check out the other ones. Oh uh, yeah. What's what's in uh? Oh, this one. There were there were I think rare. eighteen diamonds, eighteen or fifteen in the one duck you got. Everything else, there were like mending books. Oh, there was a mending book and eighteen diamonds, I think. Okay. What was in Tico's? Uh, dude, I can't even remember. It was nothing crazy but it was pretty good i think uh, it had oh it had like emeralds a stack of gold i think okay hey i think i think we did pretty good five diamonds yeah, okay horse armor together together you guys did pretty good <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I guess I'll grab my dirt. Yeah, take the dirt. Take the dirt. It's all yours. You're welcome. Awesome. That's cool. Yeah, well, that's about it. It's just a free store. Wait, so is this, is this terracotta? Stuff. Yeah. Did you find a terracotta biome? Is that like a mesa biome? Is that the same thing? I'm not sure. It's like brown. It's like all brown, pretty much. I've actually, I found one of those. No way. Um, I've been trying not, to find That's not one. where I got this from. Okay. Is that, is that, do you have to like stain this? Is that how you do it? You cook this. That's how you get this. Oh, God. Watch collect. out. I one hit these guys down with my sword. I don't. Kind of I have to hit them like six <laughs> times with my sword. You got to check out our trading hall though we have like a really really oh, good no. villager hall all right yeah well, well thanks for coming by the store i'm glad you guys got some i'm actually really happy you got three because you guys are the last people to hit the store everybody else i don't know if they're coming yeah so i doubt it hey uh, wait 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 did you buy anything from our shop i did <laughs> oh you did hold up yeah i dude i bought something like a week ago though i don't know if it's still, <laughs> you might have collected it already dude every time we I come here there's like nothing no i think we've taken them already yeah, we definitely okay, have i bought i bought sea lanterns i think Think. Okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna lower our prices actually. Oh, if you do a price cut, then do I get a refund? No, <laughs> you don't actually. Sorry to inform oh, you. Really? Yeah. I just gave you diamonds though. Come on, really? Uh, yeah, we'll talk later, Kaz. If you want to build a boxing <laughs> ring, just, you know, hit my all line. Right, all right. Your yeah, people yeah. call Thanks my people and we'll be good. All right. Okay. See you later. Right. <laughs> I can't believe I picked that one. I know. See, I just have the 200 IQ brain. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be up. honest. Shut up. I'm bringing home all this amazing stuff. Efficiency yeah, 4 book. Yeah. It's really nice. All right, so we're back back at our base it was pretty nice of kaz to give us a little gift considering that me and him have a boxing match scheduled i'll still accept it it's all good we got enchanted golden apple heart of the sea really good diamond helmet and then what else we got a saddle efficiency four and five diamonds pretty good deal to me we didn't have to pay anything wait, for that wait, don't what? forget about what i had oh no yep the dirt <laughs> yeah you kind of threw the bag with that game but it's all good what were we doing here oh yeah so actually i've been working a lot with the villagers downstairs and um i actually Actually ended up buying a bunch of books from them so we got unbreaking three and a mending book and what i can do with this is now i can finally get kaylee a really good elytra here so if i take our old elytra put it to the anvil first let me repair it this thing is broken spending my hard earned levels for you gotta, gotta put some mending on it and then we gotta put some unbreaking three i'm gonna rename your elytra no no i i want to name it you want to name it all right here you go wait, there's your I enchanted to... elytra wait did you name it no okay, you can okay. rename it anyway actually you know what i'm gonna put mending on this helmet that Kaz gave me. This is a really good helmet. Aquafinity Protection 3 and Mending? Not bad. What is this cat looking at? Yo, what's going on with the animals right now? This cat is bullying the dog. Yo, Astro, go do something with the cat. Don't let him boss you around like that. This cat's kind of <laughs> mean. No, she's not. Yeah, she is. You anyway, want to what... know what I named my Elytra? What'd you name it? The Snitch? Yeah, do you get why? Because of Harry Potter? Uh-huh. That's cute. There you go. That's cute. <laughs> What'd you name yours? I didn't even name it. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show you guys. Look at this axe that I made. It's called the goaded axe, all right? It's only the most goaded of the goaded, goaded, goaded pickaxes, all right? We got efficiency five, fortune three, mending, and I'm breaking three. Literally the best pickaxe in the game besides obviously a netherite. Might have to upgrade. What are you looking at? Don't look at me like that. There you go. So I guess the next project that I want to work on is the zombie villager farm. I know we've been doing a lot of villager work, but it's very important because once we have all these villagers set up, we could find Finally, once and for all, get all the best gear in the game and be happy and live happily ever after. But until then, we got a lot of work to do. So the reason why I want to make a zombie villager farm is because I want to get the best trades with the villagers, all right? It actually cost me a lot of ink sacks to trade with my best villagers right now. So I want to see if I can do something a little bit better. So I want to make a zombie villager room, but I don't know where to start it. Like I was thinking either digging through this wall or the one opposite. Definitely this one. Okay. Well, I was I mean, thinking of maybe moving this guy right here and just putting him somewhere else. I don't know. No, no. 
know. I think this is what we should do. So, you know how there's just, like, kind of awkward space here? Yeah. But if, like, this is entrance and then, like, this is exit. And it's just, like, yeah, I'm, I'm down for that. Oh, yeah. We got to we gotta do some work here. All right. Let's carve out a big room and then we can decorate it and do something nice with it right after. All right. So, I have everything that I need in order to make this zombie villager machine. But first, we need more villagers. So, we only got three at the moment. A zombie literally just spawned in this hole. And we actually need him for the zombie villager farm. I guess I'm gonna start building it. I was gonna breed more villagers, but we're gonna have to wait until I get the set up for now. So the first thing I have to do is kind of gonna be a weird contraption to make, but it's kind of gonna be like a little roller coaster in a way. So put a rail like that. So I just gotta bring the villager up. All right, guys, I'm gonna be honest. I am not at all an expert with mine carts and mine rails and how they work and all that. I'm literally a beginner at this, okay? So don't you like my design? I love it, yeah. I think it looks really cool for a zombie villager torture method farm thing i don't know what this is i need this guy right here to stay alive anyways all right now we just got to build a little spot for the zombie to camp in and wait for our beloved villager there we go so what's going to happen is basically the villager is going to go up this mine rail down into here he's going to drop onto a track hopefully this doesn't smush the villager i guess we're going to find out he's going to stop right here for a bit he's going to hang out got a power rail there all right then i just extend the rail down this way a little bit how, far, how much space do we have here i think this is just enough space okay it should stop there okay yeah i think this works i think this might work all we need now is just a zombie in here okay i'm done the room yeah. looks beautiful i love it ah uh, yeah i think this works i think this is literally all i have to do now i just need a minecart to test it should be good to go i really really hope this works actually you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna fully test it why not i'm gonna get some splash potions and a golden apple where did i put all that stuff though we also need to get a name tag because we gotta name the zombie what should we name the zombie babe you have any ideas bob, bob? all right he bob. looks like bob there's Please. a creeper right next to bob okay we gotta kill the creeper we can't let the creeper kill bob though man why does this always happen should i make a bow or something to kill him oh we don't have enough string baby you want to come test this contraption with me real quick come on down with the creeper i uh, Careful, he's right there. He's I don't right see there. Him. He's not in here. Yes, he is. I just saw him two seconds ago. Babe, no, he's no, no. He's not no. here. He's not here. <gasps> Here. He's in there. He's in there. I need to get I the creeper know. out. All right, we'll get him out later. Anyways, I just want to test this. So the way this works, I got my girlfriend Kaylee to demonstrate. You're going to go up, <gasps> down in here, and then the zombie is going to turn you into a zombie. And then after you're a zombie, you go down to the end, and then I turn you back into a normal villager. You want to try? Oh, so the zombie goes in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to get the zombie in there. Give her a spin. All right. Oh, no. This is so <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> I don't know why that's so scary. How do we separate the creeper from the zombie, though? Actually, I have an idea. I have an idea. Our villagers are on the other side of oh, that God. wall. <gasps> watch out, watch out, watch out. It's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. I killed the creeper. We got to trap Bob. We got to trap Bob. Can Bob, you open the back. open the back? Open the back, babe? Where is Bob? He's on me. He's on me. I got him. Can you break the back where he stands? Break the... <gasps> no! Stop it! Come back what? here. What? 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 A, a what? Villager, a villager's in here. A villager's in oh, here. Oh, no. All right. Just block him in there. Block him in there. Can you just stall this guy? We basically got to lure him in here. Block the back. Block the back. I did. I did. Okay. Perfect. We got Bob. Let's go. Uh, hello, Bob. All right. How, wait. How do I name him? There we go. He's got a name now. Bob. Should we give this? Ow. Babe, watch. Babe, he's still a zombie. <laughs> We're going to test this thing out. Who wants to be the first villager? I guess that Sounds like is. this guy does. Get on in there. Come on. Don't be shy now. I'm doing this for your own good. Hey, 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 hey. Don't do not go through here. We got to get him into the mine cart. This villager is the most annoying guy ever. Hey, come on, buddy. <laughs> come on. Get yeah, I out. Like, I feel like I can do it better. Okay. All right. Get him out there. I can't. I give up with this guy. Go here. Ahead. I have a boat, actually. I'm going to watch out. Watch out. There you go. Push him. Give him a nudge. Go in the mine cart. Oh, are you kidding me? All right, me? You, you have to patch this thing because this this guy is just I'm so fine. curious to go in here. There we go. And now he's gone. Now you're okay. definitely turning into a zombie. Wait, wait, wait. Get in. There we go. Now you're definitely going in the mine cart. <laughs> Nothing to see here, villagers. Just uh, taking one of your friends for a science experiment. I don't think he's going to get in the car. Yeah, he's not. What? Is he good? What is he doing? Oh, he's in. He's in. I got him in. I just put the cart on him. I guess he just needed a little more effort. There's a 50-50 chance he'll actually turn into a zombie because we're playing on normal mode. If you actually play on hard mode, there's a 100% chance he'll always turn into a zombie if the zombie kills him. Seems like the zombie doesn't want to kill him though. Bob, get him. Bob, do it. What is not working here? I got you a villager. Turn him into a zombie. Oh, maybe we should leave the room. Yeah. Oh, yep, it's it working. Like oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, he's a zombie. Let's go. Hey. 
that one character from Dragon Ball Z? Piccolo. Yeah. All right. Look at him. Why is he sitting? All right, I'm going to turn him back. Oh, wait. Actually, hold on. There's one thing I forgot to do is add iron bars. If you add iron bars, apparently this speeds up the process of them turning into a normal person again. All right, big fella. And now... <laughs> uh, Look at that. This is like Frankenstein's what's lab. <laughs> Wait, what is happening to him? He's turning back into normal. Why is that, he shaking? That's the medicine. It's doing its work. I feel bad. Yeah, it's kind of really cruel, isn't it? But hey, we get discounted prices doing this. So actually, you know what? While that happens, I'm going to go feed the other villagers. Oh, there's another cat here. All right, well, this is good news, guys, because this zombie converter actually might work. And that means we're going to be able to get a lot of emeralds. It's going to be a grind to actually fill this entire room with discounted villagers villagers but i'm gonna make it happen i feel like it's gonna be worth it it has to be because right now these villagers they're really expensive but i want to get the prices down yeah we're just gonna have to wait a while for this guy to convert but it works actually you know what while he's doing that i guess we should make another pod because he's gonna be another librarian that we get hopefully with efficiency five also guys we've been having this issue where endermen randomly just spawn in our base and we don't know what's causing it because we have well lit areas over here like i don't know why that would still happen if you guys have any ideas let me know maybe it's because we're underground that could be a possibility. Oh, he's a he's a villager now. He's back. Hey, he's back from the dead. Look, he's running away. Yeah, he's scared. <laughs> he's panicking. All right, come on up. It's time to get you a new job. Come here, buddy. You got to bring him up the ladder if you can. I want him to thank me for saving his life. You're the one who put it in danger. I am, in fact, the one who put it in danger. Should I boat him over there? Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be the issue, guys. Getting him all the way back up there. We're going to have to do this with so many villagers. It's going to take like a whole day for me to do this. Go. Oh, up the ladder. Why do you want to go back in there? Why do you want to go back in here? No, 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 no. Babe, why'd you let him leave? Oh, see, he's a librarian now. For what? See, oh my gosh, these discounts are insane. I love it. He's coming, yeah, yeah. He's coming. There we go, there we go. We got to get him to this lectern right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. He follows us. He follows us. Now go in there. Ah, ah, ah. There you go. There we go. Perfect. Now we got him in there. Now we got to get a really good trade out of him. All right. So now the only step left is to just make him a really good librarian. He already offers amazing discounts. As you can see, three emeralds for one bookshelf. All I need now is to get a really nice book. Listen, buddy, you're not getting out of here. This is going to be your job forever. Aren't you excited to be a librarian? Come on. Give me efficiency five. Looting three. I already have a looting three though. Riptide three. No, thank you. I'm literally going to have to do this process with every other villager that I'm doing in here well 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 guys after 30 minutes of just constantly trading his trades look at what we got efficiency five for 17 emeralds that is a steal that is such a good price it used to be 42 emeralds babe actually i'm kind of stuck in here and i don't want to break his trades can you here, throw I'll me break the glass behind you you have glass oh God. yeah i have the glass i just don't want this guy to get out ready no no stay send it there we go. We got him. This room is starting to look so sick. I know. I love it. I just got to lock in this guy's trade because now we can have all the best tools. We have a fortune three villager. We have an efficiency five villager. What else do we have? We have an unbreaking three villager and we have a mending villager. Like we're pretty much set. Hey buddy, you want to sell me some efficiency five books since I saved your life? There we go. It's nice doing business with you. Locked his trade in. You know what? I'm just going to max it out. Cause why not? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We just bought five efficiency five books. We are vibing. I'm going to rank him up too. see what else he has to trade fire aspect two hey that's perfect because we also needed that to make swords i could also combine those books to make it fire aspect three. Oh man we really got to make like a separate chest for all these books i'm probably just gonna make a bunch of chests right next to their pods all right babe i'm about to make you a really really good pickaxe you ready for this all right let's see we got efficiency five mending on breaking three now all we need to go down is here into our fortune three villager where's he at so many villagers i'm probably gonna have to make like a bunch of signs to see what their trades are I'm probably gonna do all that off camera. That's just a bunch of busy work, but we got fortune three right here. Still kind of expensive. I'm actually, you know what? 21 emeralds. That's not even that bad for fortune three. I'm pretty sure the discounted villagers like 14 emeralds for efficiency five. Yeah, 13 emeralds for efficiency five. Anyways, I got the pickaxe. You want me to name it anything special or you can name it. I'm, I'm probably not even gonna have enough levels. We got diamond pickaxe. Let's just upgrade this bad boy. Oh, I can't put fortune three on it. You're gonna have to do it. Wait, it costs 13. I'm I'm only nine. Oh, rip. Yeah, I can't do it either. Okay, we'll just do it next time. But yeah, you guys pretty much get the idea now. So that's what I've been doing off camera is just making a bunch of villagers. But now that we have the zombified discount machine, this thing is just absolutely scary to look at. We're gonna just close that off from the villagers. We don't wanna scare them. But pretty much, I'm just gonna be breeding a bunch of these villagers, turning them into zombies, turning them back, and then putting them in pods, making them all librarians. Maybe I might make like 
emerald grinding ones at the top layer. I'm not too sure once I have all the good enchantments down here. But yeah, I love the way this room is looking. It's really nice. This is all Kaylee's idea, by the way. So shout out to Kaylee for being smart and cool. But yeah, guys, I think this is pretty much going to be where we end off the episode here today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, making this series is probably the most amazing time I'm having on YouTube. So I really do appreciate everybody that shows some love. Feel free to leave some comments, any suggestions on enchantments, or just any ideas you have for the series. Thank you guys so much. Drop a like on the video. Check out Kaylee on Instagram. We love you guys. Dasi Danya.